Welcome back ladies and gentlemen, it's another video for Star Atlas and um, I think we've had a, an epiphany in this video and I'm going to share that with you now because what I've, what I've realized and I needed to actually go through this to experience this to be able to share it with you is that the, the process that we, we took to get started is, is actually wrong. It's not beneficial as a small fleet to try and mine resources. It's just not. You run out of fuel by the time you get there. Um, you can start to mine resources, but you have such limited cargo um, that you're going to be every seven minutes, you're going you're to be checking on your, your fleet. And actually, I think right now, the, the best way to do this initially is simply to stay in the CSS where you are and just scan. And just scan and scan and scan and keep scanning and scan as much as you can and get as many of those SDUs as possible. I currently think that's probably the most profitable way to play this at the moment. So you've got enough money to just simply buy a, just to buy one, to buy a new bike. And so I kind of think that's what we're going to do. I kind of think that's what we're going to do. So we have finished mining. Uh, we're going to stop now. It's just finished like a minute ago. This is the last one. I've done four of these now. I've done four of these now, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go back to my Starbase. Uh, sorry, no, I'm not. I'm going to go and dock first and foremost. So we've used up a little bit of ammo. We've used up a little bit of fuel, um, but we're now here. So we're going to go to the Starbase hangar and we're going to offload the hydrogen that we've got. So transfer that to the Starbase. And let's have a look and see how long this is going to take to craft. So we're going to go into the crafting workshop now. And we are going to look for our tier one, which is going to be fuel. It is going to require um, this and it's going to output the fuel. So we can set this to max and we're going to get 985 fuel from this. But we don't have any crew at the moment. So what we need to do is we need to go into our hangar go to our ship and we need to disband this. Now if we disband it, the fuel and the ammo and everything will be sent back to us. So we'll get that back. So that's now been done. Now we can go and craft and we have these three people available. So let's go down to fuel, maximum. Uh, for one person it's gonna take 16 minutes, for three people it's gonna take just five minutes. All right, so five minutes and we will have that. So we're gonna go ahead and start. And that means that we're going to have in five and a half minutes, we're going to have nearly a thousand fuel. We're going to get uh, nine, uh, 900 and I think it was 80 something it said there. So it, that's now in instances. So 985 fuel is coming. We'll get that soon. That'll put us back up well over 100%, which is good. And that whole process has taken us somewhere in a region of about half an hour, about 30 minutes to be able to do that, which isn't too bad. It's not too bad at all. Uh, now we need to consider what we're going to do next. So the next thing that we're going to do at the moment is we want to be able to get these SD, uh, well, the, the, the main thing is the survey uh, data units, right? So in order for us to get those, I uh, want to go back to the image that we shared before, uh, and we need toolkits. And for toolkits, we're going to need iron. And it's simply uh, one iron ore into one iron, and then one iron or two, uh, sorry, two iron into one toolkit. So we need iron. Uh, we need iron and that's really what we're going to be looking for now. So in order to find iron, we need to grab this map. We can see iron is the dark one here. There is a two available here, which is actually going to be the best one to go to, which is MRZ8. This will be the best one to go to to get this because it's going to give us the best return. But that is a bit of a trek. Uh, to get all the way up there. It might be better to go a shorter distance here. And then we have biomass and iron together. Slightly less, but might be better for us. It really depends. Um, I, I think we're too small for this to make that much of a difference at the moment. And that's the, the challenge we've got at the moment. We need to be able to generate money so that we can make more ships. Or, or at least be able to craft more ships. But that is... That is the challenge right now. The challenge right now is simply going to be uh, how much we need. 
And so if we come back here and we look at what we need, or we need in total, in total, because remember this is a lot, this is this is 30,000. We need 30,000 iron ore in total. Uh, because we need it for both the toolkit and, uh, well, yeah, because we have to have toolkits for this, right? Uh, we need copper ore as well. So th we need 30,000 iron ore. We need 23,000 copper ore, 20,000 carbon. And this is when we only have 700 capacity. So, yeah, it's, it's a lot. It's a lot. We have to do a lot of trips. And so I was working this out, uh, exactly what we would need to do and how this would work. It's, it's unfortunate. There's not really much we can do about it, though. Uh, when we look at our capacity, I'm going to write that down here. Our capacity is about 700. Uh, which means if we were to equal everything that we needed here, which is our total quantity. Okay. Oh. So let's do a, a sum of this to here, like so. Okay, so that's the total, and then we're gonna do uh, that, and we're gonna divide that by the 700, which means it's gonna take us 115 trips. Uh, 115, um, this is to be able to, cr uh, just to be able to farm everything that we need. All right, so that 115 takes approximately seven minutes each, so that is going to be that times seven minutes. It's going to be 805 minutes. Yeah. So then we can do uh, equals that divided by 60. It's like going to take us 14 hours. 14 hours. Non-stop. That's how long it's going to take us to farm all of the materials we need to be able to craft this bike so 14 hours that is 14 hours that's without crafting that is 14 hours without crafting for four dollars <laughs> for four dollars we'd be better off going out and getting a job on minimum wage and just using our wages to be able to buy a bike <laughs> It's painful, but we're not going to go that route. We're not going to do this. It's just not not viable for us to do that. But good for us. To, we would never have known that had we not have done this. So what we're going to do is we're going to make the SDUs. That's all we're going to do. So if we come back here, have a look at our crafting. So the way we can do that, go to our dashboard. Huh. That looks new. Um, we're going to go to crafting process at the bottom here and it's going to show us 15 seconds left. So almost finished. And that's done the whole lot in one go. Then what we're going to do is we're going to load up our fleet and we're going to head on to our next uh, location. And we're going to go and craft some iron. And let's see how that looks. So go to asset location. All right, that's going to take us here. Well, it should do anyway. Uh, then I'm going to go to the crafting workshop, instances, claim output. All right, now we have fuel. There we go, we've got our extra fuel. Should be a little bit of a cost there, but that's okay. Items have been added to our cargo bay. All right, now we need to come to our starbase hangar, form a new fleet again. Uh, we'll call this the Wildcat fleet, that's fine, it can just be called what it is. And um, we're going to form our new fleet. Wildcats. All right, so we're paying some Solana, but this is kind of a rent. You get it back when you disband the fleet. So don't worry if you look at it and think I'm paying quite a lot there. You do get that back. Just wait for that fleet to form. Shouldn't take long. Hopefully. Let's check. No, maybe that didn't work. No, we don't have any ships, so it did work. It's just not showing up there just yet. Okay, we're going to refresh our screen because it looks like it's not working. Launch the game, choose our wallet, and in we go. All right, there we go. Go to asset location. We have our fleet. 
go to our Starbase hangar and the first two things we need to do is refuel. So we can now 100% refuel because we have the fuel to do that. Nice. Uh, we'll restock the ammo. So that's done because we need to do that as well. So we'll get full ammo. Only 62% there. So we could actually do with some copper. Well, whilst we're here, because we are here, uh, we, we can get some copper. Uh, so we may as well go and do that. So before we head off to go and do the uh, thing, we're just going to fill up here and we're going to get some more of this. So yeah, that would that would be our uh, our job here would be simply to if we were going to do this, um, it would be to and and I, I'm going to leave this stuff here because we are going to come back here. So what I would normally do in this instance, if I was here is I would simply take my, um, my my fleet that I've got, I would undock my fleet, so coming into my Starbase hangar, coming into here, undock this, and then I would, um, with a bit of food as well, I would farm the copper that is here. I'm actually not going to do that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to simply undock as I am. I've got a 100% tank, so that's fine. going to undock. Excellent. Now, if I look at uh, the inventory, I've got a little bit of fuel, a little bit of food, but all of that effort and all of that work, and that's all we've got as a result of that. Uh, we do have these uh, survey data units. There's nine of them here. I am going to take those with me. Um. Okay. Let me, oh, I undocked, my bad, I apologize. Uh, that was my bad, I need to dock. You need to be able to, you need to be docked to be able to load up your ship. So go back, inventory, okay, there we go. So then I wanna take these nine and I wanna put them in my fleet. So we're gonna transfer that to the fleet. We have two hydrogen left over, but that's fine. It can stay here, we're not gonna use that for now. So we wanna take these nine. That should have hopefully worked. Give it a second. Everything else can stay there for now. Oh, I guess we can take those three as well. So we can do one more scan on the way back. All right, we just check that out. Doesn't seem like they went. No, I don't believe they did. So we'll try that one more time, see if it works. Um, I don't think it's going to work. I think I need to refresh again. Launch the game in the Phantom Wallet Connect. Launch the labs. Go to my asset location. And let's try one more time, see if this works. You'll know if it works because you'll get to sign a transaction. There we go, we're signing a transaction now. It doesn't have that red box that it had before, so it works. So reset did it, that's absolutely fine. All right, that's now gone across. Great, that's in there. And now I can go to my fleet and I can undock. So there's a cargo still empty, which is strange because it shouldn't be. So still waiting on that transaction to go through. Hmm. Kind of should have gone through by now. Now we've got that problem again with that transaction, so hmm. Alright, well we'll just Leave it as it is, we're just going to go. We'll undock. Hopefully that'll work. There we go, we've undocked, that's worked. Okay, so now we're going to go to our undock fleet, manage fleet, and we're going to go to movement. Now, again, we can only move one screen at a time, that's going to take 14 seconds. Um, but if we sub warp, uh, that's mud free. 
we want. This one here, mud CSS. All right, it's gonna take 33 minutes. So we're gonna do this, we're gonna leave it to do its job. We'll have 45% fuel on the way back. So a good lesson there in going out and coming back, we learnt that we don't have the cargo space to be able to mine efficiently. It's gonna take us a long time to do that. And because we had that $20, we actually managed to purchase quite a considerable amount of resources. So for the purpose of what we're gonna do now, we're actually just gonna sit in the CSS and we're gonna scan. And we are just gonna scan and scan and scan as much as we can. And that's gonna be, our, that's gonna be all we're gonna do. And we're gonna see if we can acquire uh, as many of those um, SDUs as possible. Now, we know at the moment that they're selling and they're actually selling for 0.25. Uh, we can do that instantly right now. So knowing that they're selling for point, uh, point zero 0.025 or point zero 0.024, that's what they're actually selling for. So what I can do is come along to here and I can work out this is their price, right? Okay, so I know that a Fimble ship is $4.5, yeah? So my question is now, how many of these do I have to sell? So I'll put a number in here like 100, yeah? And what I basically want to know is if I have 100 times that, that's going to equal 2.4, yeah? So 200 is going to be enough. So I need 200 SDUs. That's what I need to sell. 200 SDUs. I can get free SDUs per scan. Okay. So if I take that and divide it by free, that means I need 67 successful scans. 67 successful scans. Now I'm also going to be spending at the same time as doing this toolkits. So that is going to cost me 67 toolkits. Not including all the ones that didn't work, right? So how much is a toolkit at the moment? I don't think I actually wrote the price of the toolkits down. Uh, let's see if we can have a look. So consumables, toolkit. If I was to buy one right now, it would cost that much. Okay, so coming back here. Let's write this down. So, toolkit costs that much. So then what I want to know is if I equal that and I times it by 67, it's going to cost me 60 cents. So 60 cents worth of toolkit to make four, uh, $4.80. In cash it's going to cost me 60 cents now it's probably going to cost me more than that because that's for 67 now let's say that i get a 50 percent win rate all right that means it's going to cost me 1.2 and if 1.8 if i only have a 25 percent win rate so just bear that in mind that's the cost if i get a 100 percent win rate it's going to cost me that 50 percent win rate 25 percent win rate that's the cost. Still not bad return on the money. Uh, it takes one minute to do each of those. So that is just over an hour of my time. Much better than the kind of 14 hours that we were talking about before to do the mining. So as you can see, this right now, right now it's more profitable to do it this way. So this is what we're going to do to get that fleet up. It's a lot of scanning, but what we need to do and SDUs we know they're going to be sought after because not everyone's going to want to scan them and we know people are going to want to buy them so yep this is what we're going to do so we'll go back to Sage Labs uh, we'll go back to our ship and we've got 29 minutes left so we'll leave that video here and in the next video we will just sit down and we'll just scan and we'll see how many we get and then because we're at the CSS as well, we'll just be able to export them into our wallet and sell them directly. Nice and easy.
All right, that's tomorrow's plan. Hopefully this video has been helpful and at least now you know what not to do. Uh, hopefully, once we get some results tomorrow, you'll know what to do. I will see you in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.